Hello everyone, it's Mike from Player One Ready doing another FIFA 16 review, this time of Team of the Season Roman midfielder Miralem Pjanic. Uh, he, this is not a, a particularly special team, but the Pjanic is definitely a special player. For me, as you can see here, he has got 10 games played, 10 goals, 7 assists and 1 yellow. Um, I should have got more assists with him, um, which I'll show you later, all the passing uh, all the passes he's made that I've put players through like Dobala and Knight and Golan and I've put the shots wide so I definitely could have improved on this guy's record but no, through no fault of his own to be honest with you and he is scoring goal every other game or every game according to the stats and getting assists as well so a big bonus some nice stats as well 88 shot 94 passing 91 dribbling and almost an all 80s player into his in-game stats, he's got 97 vision, 89 stamina, 80 sprint speed, very quick. He's got 98 long shots, uh, 92 shot power, 98 short passing, 90 uh, can't remember long passing, 94 long passing, 83 volleys, 92 penalties, four-star weak foot, three-star skill, and he's got the finesse shot and long shot traitor, uh, taker trait. But first coming into this is first touch and dribbling. I've only got a few clips to show you, but his dribbling is very, very special indeed. Just skinning players with him there and drawing a foul with Miranda. Uh, he can do that all day long, whether it's taking on players with his... He's only got three-star skill, but he doesn't really need it because the dribbling's just so good. Strength comes into it a bit, but his balance is particularly special. That's what makes this card, really. His balance and agility... I'm trying to be a bit too clever there, but... Hey-ho. Again there, nice agility, nice dribbling as well. Take that ball away from David Luiz and skin him. Here again, I wouldn't try to go for a solo run, but his agility is there. Didn't get quite get away from his player there, Gary Cahill, but he's holding him off. He skins a couple of midfielders, a defender, sorry, to send the shot wide, poor shot. Uh, this is where it really comes into his own, though. This guy's passing, well, I say coming into his own, his passing and f uh, shooting are spectacular. I've just got a couple of clips here to show you his full range of passing that I haven't got assists, but this one I definitely should have done. It's a lovely little through ball to nine gallon. It's a good run. Took a left foot and wanted to cover it around the player. Another Gen uh, through ball out to Dybala there, forced him a little too wide, but it's a nice pass. Again, another shot I should have scored, and these are the chances that I'm saying I should I should need to get, or I should have a better record with him. Nice long pass there out to Insignia, support first touch from Insignia, lets Abate get back. Again here, it's a lovely ball, only needs one touch to play it out, it's a good pass straight into the path of Insignia, and there it is again, on he goes, Abate catches up with him, it's Abate, shouldn't have done that. Uh, Here's his first assist for me in, in his first game. Gets get a little lucky with the with the way it comes to him, but it's a good pass across the box, perfectly weighted, nice touch there, and then just plays it to Dybala with a sweaty goal, and we'll just fire that past the keeper. His passing is unrivaled, really. For, well, I got I got him for a hundred k at the time, which is about a week ago now, and he's unparalleled. No one really comes close to him in terms of passing, apart from his, obviously the Coca and the Iniesta. Um, for me, this card. It was reminiscent of the team of the year, Tony Kroos from the last FIFA, with his little bit more pace than you'd expect from a, from a Miralem Pjanic. Um, it's a good finish here from Dybala with his right foot. A little bit more pace than you'd expect, but he's got the shooting and the passing that you're just going to destroy people with. It's an absolute dream. It's another assist for Di from uh, Pjanic there for another Dybala goal. And he can do this all day long. Passing, it really is. He just makes it look as easy as possible. Now, usually with passing, like I can do with my shots, I, I'd show you some of the ones he messed up, what he should have done. But honest to, honestly, the honest truth is he doesn't really fuck up. His passing's really good and really consistent. And that's a rarity on FIFA because some of the passing on this game is shit. But his passing is just phenomenal. Uh, it's uns it's just spectacular and, as I say, reminiscent of Tony Kroos. And this is the reason why I say reminiscent of that Kroos. Because along with that passing, he has he had an absolute thunder bastard of a strike. And Pjanic is no different. That one there, unlucky to hit the bar. This one is top corner. I cut it out a bit because it was a little bit laggy this game. So I'll show you again from the second angle just why I recorded it. Because a lovely bit of skill there. Going inside his two mid, uh, midfielders. And then to fire that far corner. Uh, straight in the top corner. Look at that. Gets past Fernando. And how about that for a strike? Straight in top bins. No keeper is saving that. His free kicks equally with his 94 free kick accuracy. Decent run up and great curve stat. He can just do this. Oh yeah, this again that I was lagging in. Horrible bit of lag. But the free kick is a beauty nevertheless. Absolute screamer. Second angle. Again, bit of lag. But the curve there gets it round well, gets over the wall. Lots of power, lots of venom. The other one, just far post, bang. Great strike again from Pjanic. And if you get him and Ilicic in a team, you'd be absolutely golden. Because you just you wouldn't even need a striker. You just shoot from distance and you'd score. And I think I scored like one, maybe two at the box with him. Two probably at a push. 
I want them and this pen. Obviously, pens aren't really difficult to score, but I'll show you it anyway as it's a goal. But this pen can do everything shooting wise good for nest shot, good uh, laces shot, can do it with either foot, uh, and it's consistent as well. He's got swerves it with the outside of his boot there, and it's a lovely hit into the top left hand corner past the keeper. Um, but yeah, he can do everything in abundance with terms of shooting, finishing, long shots, curve, free kicks. You name it, he'll score it. And that's what you need in a, in a cam. For me, passing and shooting are the main two stats in a cam. And that's, that's probably, my, probably my pick of the bunch, to be honest with you, because it's an absolute screamer. But I would definitely pick this card up. It's, it was 100k, not sure what it is now. But regardless of amount, use him. I was so like hyped up when I saw the Pianich was getting a team of the season. Exciting and his card does not let you down. Pros, there are too many for me to even read, but main ones for me, long shot, shot power, short, long passing and vision. Uh, definitely he's dribbling as well, but value for coins, also 5 star, overall rating 5 star. This card has no faults. Go out there, buy him, use him, subscribe to the channel and watch out for more FIFA videos. Thank you.